What's up guys, it's the old Ninja Warrior Aviers and Super Rap bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel and today we are bringing back another episode of the Fight Like a Superhero series this time starring my favorite ninja in gaming the bullet blocking, the dragon taming, green ninja cyborg himself, Genji. So without further ado, let's get into the video. For those of you who are uncultured and don't know who Genji is, let me catch you up just a little bit. As the youngest son of the master of the Shimada ninja clan, Genji lived a life of luxury and privilege. He had no interest in joining the illegal family business, but that came to bite him in the butt when his brother Hanzo took over the family business and was forced to kill him. Luckily, Genji was rescued by Overwatch and was put into a cyborg body that he could survive so that he could survive. Genji spent the next several years working with Overwatch's Black Watch group, saving the world from the shadows. In time, Genji eventually came to peace with who he has become and rejoined Overwatch after the recall during Zero Hour, just in time to save Winston from a giant robot. Now I know, I know, for all you Overwatch fans, I left out quite a lot of interesting information, details about uh, his, br his and his brother's relationship and his powers and all that stuff. I left out a bunch of details, but it's okay, this is not a about history of video. If you want to check that out, then, I mean, I can make that video if you want me to, or you can just Google it. I mean, you can pick one. But now, let's get into his fighting style. Genji is an absolute speed demon. He relies heavily on his reflexes and speed to allow his combat style to work. He implements this speed in a couple different ways. His reaction time is legendary. He's able to predict an opponent's attack and react to them in record time. Even able to block bullets from a Gatling gun turret. Is deflecting projectiles with a sword possible? Sure, I guess. He also uses his speed and his movement, able to dodge oncoming attacks that are too big or powerful for him to deflect with his sword. He also combines this movement speed with his acrobatics and parkour abilities, not only to evade objects, but to also move to locations quickly and catch up to opponents or surprise them with sneak attacks from unexpected locations. He also mixes his acrobatics with his sword play and sword strikes. Because he's able to do this so fluidly, it allows for his attacks to be very difficult to predict and avoid making countering his own attacks actually quite difficult. Now I couldn't bear to talk about Genji without mentioning his shuriken throwing abilities. He's able to rapidly throw shurikens and ninja stars with deadly accuracy as well as throw multiple all at the same time to hit multiple targets at once. Although they don't have the same power as sword strikes do, this allows him to be effective at long range and allows him to open up enemies for more effective sword strikes. So now, let's go outside and show you some things that you can practice at home to train more like Genji. All right guys, so let's go over some moves you can practice at home to be more like Genji. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use our Genji sword that I have. If you want a sword like this, check out the link in the description. I've done a review over it, uh, but I'll leave links down in the description and in the corners if you want to get a sword like this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to first do the uh, power up move that he does whenever he gets ready to, like, use his ultimate move. We use Genji's ultimate move. And that is uh, this one right here. Alright, so when you do this, you're going to do two forward rotations with your sword, one on the right side and one on the left side. The only difference is when you do it on the left side, you're going to pull back into a striking position, right leg back on the right side, getting ready to strike in an angle. So one more time, going forwards on the right, forwards on the left, 
pulling back, and then when you strike, your strike is gonna come slanted at an angle as you step through with your right leg, just like that. So one more, two, one more time, nice and slow, it's gonna go right side, left side, pull back, and strike through. All together, it's gonna look something like this. Now, next we're gonna do is throwing ninja stars because, uh, I mean, as we all know, Genji throws lots of shurikens and lots of stars. But today I'm gonna be using a battering because I don't have actual ninja stars. I honestly only have battering. So this is what we're gonna be using. It is what it is. With that said, if you want one, I mean, again, links down in the description. So when you throw a battering or a ninja star, it's the same process, I've thrown both. They work the same way. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your weapon and pinch it in between your thumb and the side of your index finger. I don't like grabbing the tip of it like this, like with the, the pressure point with the fingerprint of your finger. It's the side of the finger. That's how I grab it. And of course, there's lots of different ways to do it. This is just the way I do it. When you do it, you're going to first aim with your elbow. You wanna make sure your elbow's pointed at whatever target you're going to be throwing at. The next thing you're going to want to do is make sure the blade is flat in line. You don't want to throw off center and have it go sideways because the wind can pick it up and twist it off and you will likely either miss or it'll bounce off your target instead of sticking into your target. So keeping that blade in line and keeping your elbow pointed at your target is important. And the last big step that I want to let you guys know is don't eyeball down your your target. That This is not what you want to do because on the back swing, you can get cut or stab your eye, poke your eye out, that's not good. What you're gonna wanna do is have it outside of your head. You don't wanna aim with your eyes, you wanna aim off the side. That way when you throw it, it can come past your head and doesn't actually hit your head, just like this. It doesn't actually, bang, hit your head. As long as that makes sense to you guys, then you know how to throw a star. And all together, your throw, will look something like this. One more point that I feel it's important to give you is that the spin is what matters. It's not as about how hard you can throw it into an object. It's the spin that you put on the ninja star that will let it stick into a box or into a foam target or whatever you're throwing it at. Uh, the spin is what gets it in. It's not the power behind it. And so keep that in mind when you're practicing your throws. And I hope you did enjoy this video. I love doing these types of videos. If you wanna see me do a specific character from a video game franchise or a comic book or whatever, if you wanna see a specific type of character, let me know down in the comments. Um, I, you know, I love taking advice from you guys. I love taking suggestions from you guys. And if you really want to give me some good, strong suggestions that we can that we can talk about back and forth, hit me up in Discord. Just you know, mention me if you have an idea, and join the Discord links down in the description. So if you are interested in any of that, obviously it's all there for you. But as always, don't forget to crush that like button, hit subscribe, and join the notification squad if you so choose, so you don't miss when I post my next video. But Man, that was a lot of words. Until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.